nation's latest school shooting. This one at a Denver high school left two staff members injured, including one who was taken into surgery with life-threatening injuries. Authorities say the suspect is a student who remains at large tonight and is considered armed and dangerous. The school has canceled classes for the rest of the week. Reporter Alan Janay of our CBS Denver station will start us off tonight from outside the school. Good evening, Alan. Good evening, Nora. This evening on the campus of this city high school, sadness and anger. This is a school district that did away with school resource officers in the aftermath of the George Floyd killing. But today, some parents were saying, bring them back. Suspect is not in the school, but still on the loose. Tonight, the manhunt continues for 17-year-old Austin Lyle, the student who police say opened fire on two administrators. Uh, we are looking for the suspect. We will find that suspect and uh, we will hold that suspect accountable. Authorities say the shooting happened just before 10 this morning inside Denver's East High School during a mandatory search of the student because of past behavior. One victim is in critical condition, undergoing surgery. Another is stable and talking, police said. Paramedics were in the building when the uh, shooting occurred um, and they were able to immediately begin to uh, administer support and treatment to the individuals who were wounded, and uh, that, I think, will play a huge role in their ultimate recovery. East High's more than 2,500 students and staff were immediately placed on lockdown. Soon after, shaken parents waited to pick up their children. Why does it take for this to keep happening over and over and over again for us to finally do something? There have been more than 100 school shootings, including on college campuses, this academic year alone. There's always a bomb threat. There's always somebody threatening to come shoot up to school. There's always something where we're on lockdown. Just last month, a student at the same school was shot and killed while sitting in a car outside the building, prompting a student walkout and march to the Colorado State Capitol demanding stricter safety rules. I'm not really sad or hurt by it because it's so normal at this point. Today, Denver's police chief said he will have two officers back on campus when school resumes. The superintendent added to that, saying he wants officers on the campus of every high school. Nora? Alan Janay, thank you.